Buffalo Bill the Quartermaster here to order everything that I want, but nothing for the people of space. I began my shift by checking the message the old Cargonian leader left for me. Hello, Randolph P. Checkers here, the undisputed head of Cargonia, God Emperor of Freight. Now if you are listening to this message, then that means you are the new QM. That also means that I am either chilling with Nano Tracen, or dead, or incarcerated for the many things I have done recently. Anyways, it is your duty to tell these idiots how to move freight, and you must remember to always tell the miners not to die. Oh yeah, don't forget to order cool shit. I have to get going now. This cocaine won't do itself, so good luck and Godspeed. Black Pants inspired me to get to work like lusting after a nice ass co-worker. I hid inside a box in order to be more annoying than packing peanuts. God damn it, I was discovered for being an annoyance to society like Instagram celebrities. Then I was slipping right in front of a lawyer like a desperate con artist. Now people won't let me do my job. Just look at the no love shoves I get. I even lost control of the fuel tank right in front of my turf. My job was not hard, but it did require a great deal of strength, mental strength, because my brain did all the heavy lifting while my arms casually chilled by my side. Sweet, a body was disposed of. I mean, rest in grease. Since I'm not greasy myself, I rushed the poor corpse to medbay for surgery. I was staring in the operating room right in the grill, but a coat toad prevented the surgical altercation from happening, probably because of my unconventional methods, until he fucked off to allow me to doctor this problem away. This is all I know how to do as a doctor though, steal important tools. Speaking of stealing, those cargo bay points don't just rack themselves up, you gotta pick a pocket or two to keep the crate gravy flowing. Then the crew started driving me batty. The insanity drove me to hitting a locker like a batshit crazy teacher. While I was whacking, a bystander joined in with a dog carrier to assist me on opening night. After giving up the lock quest, I completed the sloth killing side mission. Then later on, I was not allowing any spacing like hotel pods in China. My close quarters beatdown approach pissed off the zoning committee though. This maniacal fat cat with the bat enjoyed seeing people suffer from the spacing issue and stopping little guys like me from raising awareness. We flew around as we hit each other like some actors in rubber suits hanging via wires. However, this casting couch pouch probably didn't tell Weinstein no for his role, so at the end of the scene, I'm the one with the cracked skull like an awful stunt double. I watched from the floor as the lawyer showed motherfuckers he was not scared to be sued. I was on the edge of being dragged to death's recycling bin, but the cape swinger was now taking me to a safe medical desktop. Medbay almost brought me back to 100%, but my head was still kinda fucked up. Now I'm back on the mean streets to throw back more beer than Andre the Giant doing a Stone Cold Steve Austin impression. Sadly, the bartender was never a wrestling fan, so he didn't get nostalgic for my reference. I then witnessed a totally radical wipeout, bro. Anyways, the bartender still hated my guts like a normal non-cannibal person. You shoot me? and get your window broken, because I'll stool your ass. I had too many beefs, so I went on a gun run to lava land. I sat by the fire waiting for my guns to pop out like they were being crafted by the Skyforge. My modded Skyrim gave me both laser and energy guns. Of course my cargo bay sidekick had to get a piece of the action. I then saw some legs that needed to be off like they stood for a 12 hour shift. And I can't believe this guy just walked by without agreeing with my decision. Only the truly stable, sick-minded decapitate corpses when they're bored. The suspicious spacesuit man appeared to be up to something. That something was dropping Syndicate mini-bombs. It may have been mini, but I still ran decently far to avoid the blast radius. The Syndicate was going back to the scene of his crime to break into the captain's office, which caused me to give him everything stun-related that I could offer. I had the little bomber in custody, so I handed him over to a hopefully trustworthy board. This is an example of why you should walk through the open door always, or actually, any opening that isn't a door works better in terms of survival. Instead of using my guns at the end of the shift for murder, I started passing them out hoping everyone would play along in a game of lethal laser tag. 
the game was on in my head, but a taser always beats a disabler laser. I was cuffed and roughed up. Looks like my days of gun running are over. I'm now under arrest for just being a cool guy that shoots at authority. After abusing my power to get guns, my punishment was to go back to doing the same grueling job. All I'd do is order shit and occasionally push crates like a lazy Amazon employee that secretly shops online during work. My only duty was pressing a button like a sucker in a slot machine tournament. I went for a gray tide like walk and the first place that caught my eye was the busy HOP line. These normal liners had a chance to become headliners because all access is being handed out due to a syndicate threat to our station. All of us waited impatiently for all access like a line of dudes waiting for their turn in a gangbang. Everyone was on edge due to the open any door policy promise. I noticed a clown and a plasma man got into a shoving bout. You already know people helped attack the clown because it's tradition and considered rude not to. Someone then tried cleaning us up with the grenade like they were clearing out a dirty foxhole. The mayhem continued as we all participated in the only teamwork building activity the station has to offer, which is jumping the clown together as a crew. I finally received my precious all access at a different handout location. I then realized cargo bounties were a thing. Who do cares about these meaningless tasks? Our station was going to war. This gave me permission to do my favorite all access ritual of getting more gunned up than kids that always talk about the zombie apocalypse. So I got an SMG and energy guns for my theoretical doomsday. I'm glad I was already packing plenty of heat, because the armory was basically a walk in freezer after the crew came through. I wore a stylish armored up outfit for the station betraying occasion. Our forces look strong enough to stop the traitorous threat to our livelihood. I just hope everyone else has the same amount of confidence in us that I do. Gunplay was happening all throughout the halls, and I was confused on who I should shoot, so I had to wait to be shot at before I could fire back like an army that only gets involved in self-defense battles. Doors were zapping our good men down. And this gave an evil Borg the opportunity to pick one of us off. The HOS was coming to help, but walked right into the Syndicate's trap. Lucky for him, I was there to drag his death out until I ran into some high wattage problems myself. We went back to engineering, and we should have known more doors would still be providing electricity free of charge. These doors were no joke. They were taking down our greatest minds and fighters. Bullets now got in on the removal efforts. I dodged a few before getting hit by two. These couple of shots had me blacking out pretty early. I moved with the motion of a Roomba as I crawled to medbay to seek treatment. I was fortunate the CMO patched me up. A long haired hitman came to take out what little we had left of security. The CMO acted like he was gonna go after them, but instead we both bravely took a knee. Wait, help me please, by Caradine! Alright, I owe this doctor a healing session for sure. I did not know what I was doing though, but I'm willing to try. I began giving him all the units of the drug he requested, but while on the inside he told me, 20 you! Shit, it's just a tad bit extra, I suppose. Oh for fuck's sakes, why? My bad. You killed me! I'm not a doctor. It's just a little overdose, he'll be fine. But I won't be if I stand in front of this fire spitting syndicate mech, so I'll just stand my ground all the way over here. I patrolled the perimeter and saw the ball of pussy shield run past me. It didn't matter, because he wasn't going to try to kill me again, because I was dying due to a disease or something of that nature. It's over. The Syndicate beat us with their technology like a bunch of hackers. I was now seeing more ghosts than the Scrooge from all the Christmas Carol remakes combined, including shows that did an episode based on it. I probably would have had a better chance if I finished that how-to guide on running Cargonia. I never even made it to the Fighting Armed Villains chapter. Thank you again for purchasing How to Run Cargonia by Randolph B. Checkers, a spoken book. Remember, Tip 23 for ruling Cargonia. Mimes are not people. Remember also, tip 24 for ruling Cargonia. Lizards are always wrong. Very wrong indeed. 
A lizard could be the person you care most about because they're crafty shapeshifters. The only thing a lizard person thinks about is converting us unsuspecting humans. Hey, Patreons! Thanks!